Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina asks Bangladesh Embassy officials in Washington, D.C. to work with sincerity and patriotism to further enhance country's image abroad. Awami League doesn't care any threat. Elections will be held as per constitution, says Ubaidul Qadir. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, not only a politician, rather she is a synonym of struggle, development, progress and democracy of Bangladesh, says Dr. Hassan Mahmoud. First batch of fresh uranium for Rupur nuclear power plant reaches project site at Rupur in Ishardi in Pabna from Dhaka today. Passenger trains to be launched on Dohazari Cox's Bazaar route in next month. Tourist city Cox's Bazaar will usher in a new horizon of communication network. At least 50 people killed and more than 50 injured in a suicide attack in Pakistan. And Bangladesh chasing a victory target of 264 runs against Sri Lanka in a pre-World Cup cricket match in Guwahati. Assalamu alaikum. This is Shibli Noman. Welcome you all to News at 10. You have just heard the highlights. Now, on to the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has asked Bangladesh Embassy officials in USA to work with sincerity and patriotism to further enhance the country's image. The Prime Minister made the call while exchanging views with the officials while visiting Bangladesh Embassy in Washington, D.C. on Wednesday. She also went round different parts of the embassy, including Shohid Minar and Bangabandhu Corner. On her arrival at the embassy, the Prime Minister was received by Bangladesh Ambassador to the USA, Mohammed Imran, with a flower bouquet. The Prime Minister paid deep homage to Father of the Nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, by placing a wreath at his bust at the Bangabandhu Corner of the embassy. She stood in solemn silence for some time as a mark of profound respect to the Father of the Nation. Awami League General Secretary and Road Transport and Bridges Minister Abadil Khadr has said Bangladesh don't fear any kind of threatening as election will be held following the constitution. Awami League will not support any of election without Sheikh Hasina. He said this while addressing a discussion meeting at Bangabandhu International Conference Center in the capital today. Bangladesh Awami League organized the discussion marking the birth anniversary of the party president and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Fokrul Islam no tun dalal. Oi dalal e amader boy de. Nij ba chon korbe na. Boy de ka. She kasi na rodi ni lishan. Ami aur na dikchi. Bangladesh she kina cha. Kono ni ba cha. Public 
अमीर कुछ बोले जे आर अनुमति ने आयन मान बनना विचार मान बनना अनुमति ना नहीं जाबें को था कि नहीं आज बें नाशकोता नहीं आज बें आगून नहीं आज बें ओ नाशकोता कालो हाँ अन्ना बें दे दे बोल कैप्टेन डाक दे बें समाय मतो अगर घूमा रा छत्तीस दिन है कहता रहे थकते हो अभी मार मार छर बुना सारा दम को भूख भी ले कर दो Obaidul Khadir said, Bangladesh do not fear the U.S. visa policy and sanctions as Bangladesh will run following its constitution. He said, the United States of America have to face Donald Trump first to save their democracy. Amadeir Gonotanto, Amadeir Sangbidan Tukkubi. आमादेश निर्वाचन, आमादेश संविधान निर्धारण, आमादेश देशे अंदर किया बेचौल बो, अंदर तोत्ता बताये और मानी ना, उठाए गुन मोरा लास, के आशु, के बोलू, ताते किचुआ से जाए ना। जो बाइडेन सब आस्की बोले थे, बड़ा तंत्रों कुंती की, ट्रांस के सम्राटे पर है ना, और बांग्लादेश के तो बोल दे। The speaker said, in the name of movement, BNP wants to hand over the country to the foreigners. Presidium members, Engineer Musharraf Hussain, Lieutenant Colonel Retired Mohammad Farooq Khan, Shah Jahan Khan, Mufazil Hussain Choudhury Maya, Advocate Kamrul Islam, Dr. Mustafa Jalal Mohyuddin, and Abdul Rahman, Joint General Secretaries Mahbubul Alam Hanif, AFM Bahauddin Nasim, and Dr. Deepu Moni, and leaders of Central and Dhaka City Awami League also spoke at the discussion.
ICT advisor of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and her son Shoji Bwajid Joy celebrated his mother's birthday by taking dinner in Virginia. Joy shared a photo on his verified Facebook account where he wrote Ma's birthday dinner with the family at my golf club in Virginia. Sheikh Hasina, Shoji Bwajid Joy along with three other relatives are seen in the photo. Sheikh Hasina is now in the USA as she attended the 78th United Nations General Assembly in New York. After attending the UNGA, she went to Washington, D.C. Shoji Bwajid Joy's photo showed the Premier was in Virginia to allow her son to celebrate her birthday in a simple manner. Information and Broadcasting Minister and Awami League Joint General Secretary Dr. Hassan Mahmoud said Sheikh Hasina is not only the name of a politician but also an icon of struggle and synonym of development, progress and democracy of Bangladesh. He said this at a discussion as chief guest marking Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's birthday at the central office of the Awami League in the capital today. Bangladesh Krushak League organized the program. The minister said Sheikh Hasina is a symbol of democracy in Bangladesh. Jonathan Sheikh Hasina, Shudak John Rasbiti Bidir Nam Noy. Jonathan Sheikh Hasina, Ekti Shangrami Upak Kandir Nam. Pondre Agustir Marmanti Kutta Kandir Power, Matasheri Bipurite, Ujan Tele, Janeti Amulike Gini Egachen. তিনি হচ্ছেন শেখ হাসিনা তিনি মা বাবা ভাই আত্মীয় পরিজন সবাইকে হারিয়ে এই দেশের মানুষকে আত্মীয় পরিজন হিসেবে গ্রহণ করে এই দেশের মানুষের ভাগ্যের পরিবর্তন যিনি ঘটিয়েছেন তিনি হচ্ছেন জননেত্রী শেখ হাসিনা জননেত্রী শেখ হাসিনা শুধুমাত্র একটি সংগ্রামী উপখানের নাম নয় জননেত্রী শেখ হাসিনা এই দেশে গণতন্ত্রের প্রতীক এই দেশের আবহমান বাংলার সংস্কৃতির প্রতীক জননেত্রী শেখ হাসিনা মুক্তিযুদ্ধের চেতনার প্রতীক বারবার মৃত্যু উপত্যকা থেকে ফিরে এসে তিনি বিচলিত হন নাই তিনি দ্বিধান্বিত হন নাই বরং আরও দীপ্ত পদভারে বাংলাদেশের সংগ্রামের কাফেলাকে মানুষের ভোট এবং ভাতের অধিকার আদায়ের কাফেলাকে এগিয়ে নিয়ে গেছেন Dr. Hassan Mahmoud said different types of conspiracies are being hatched over the next election, but the polls will be held on time, leaving behind all conspiracies of the BNP Jamaat, which is sided with foreign powers, he added. <laughs> তারা বাংলাদেশকে আন্তর্জাতিক রাজনীতির ক্রিয়াক্ষেত্রে পরিণত করতে চায় কিন্তু এই আন্তর্জাতিক রাজনীতির ক্রিয়াক্ষেত্রে পরিণত করার অপচেষ্টা করে কোনো লাভ হবে না নির্বাচন নিয়ে অনেক ষড়যন্ত্র হচ্ছে নির্বাচনকে ভণ্ডুল করার অপচেষ্টা চালানো হচ্ছে নির্বাচনকে ভণ্ডুল করে গোলাপানিতে মাছ শিকার করার অপচেষ্টা হচ্ছে যারা মাছ শিকার করার অপচেষ্টা চালাচ্ছে শুদ্ধ বাংলায় বললে ছাগলের তিন নম্বর ছানা যারা তাদেরকে বাতাস দিচ্ছে এবং সেই বাতাসে ফখরুল সাহেব লাফায় এই লাফালাফি করে কোনো লাভ হবে না বাতাস দিয়ে লাভ হবেন আপনারা লাফাতেই থাকবেন নির্বাচন যথা সময়ে অনুষ্ঠিত হবে সেই নির্বাচনে আবার ধস নামানো বিজয়ের মাধ্যমে গণতন্ত্রের মানুষ কন্যা জননেত্রী শেখ হাসিনা আবার দেশের প্রধানমন্ত্রীর আসনে সাথে হবে ইচ্ছা Krishok League President, Agriculturist Shamir Chandra presided over the discussion. Awami League Organizing Secretary SM Kamal Hussein and Agriculture and Cooperatives Affairs Secretary Faridun Nahar Laili also spoke. Krishok League General Secretary Advocate Umme Kulsum Sriti moderated the function. Later, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's 77th birthday was celebrated by cutting cake and offering doa. The first consignment of uranium fuel for the Rupur nuclear power plant arrived in the power station in Pabna today. A special team of military and law enforcement agencies ensured strict security while transporting the nuclear fuel from Dhaka to Ishwardi Pabna. 
the technology supplier organization will formally hand over the fuel on 5th October. At that time, a function near the project site will be held where Russian President Vladimir Putin and Bangladesh's Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina will get connected virtually. The two units of the Rupur nuclear power plant will produce a total of 2,400 megawatts of electricity. The first unit of 1,200 megawatts is expected to go into production soon. Science and Technolo Technology Minister Yafis Osman said, with the arrival of uranium fuel, Bangladesh has achieved capacity of nuclear power generation. The much-awaited chhatrugram Cox's Bazar rail line is ready to trial test run. Six bogies and an engine have already been kept ready at the Patai rail station for a train run. Sixty passengers can sit in each bogies imported from Korea. The trial run of the train will start next month for Cox's Bazar. Construction works of nine stations including Shatkanya, Lohagora, Harbang, Chokuria, Dulahazra, Ramu and Cox's Bazar have been completed. Besides 39 bridges and 251 culverts from Dulahazra to Chokuria and Chokuria to Cox's Bazar have been built. Locals said this rail route will drastically change the communication system in that region. The cost of the rail line crossed more than 18,000 crore taka. This rail line will be a milestone of rail communications from Dhaka to tourist city of Cox's Bazaar. Now, international news. At least 50 people have been killed and more than 50 injured in a suicide attack in Pakistan. The blast happened near a mosque in the southwestern Balochistan province today as people gathered to celebrate the birth of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Balochistan's police chief Abdul Khalik Sheikh confirmed the explosion was a suicide blast and a senior police officer was killed while trying to stop the attacker. Officials in Balochistan have declared a state of emergency. No group has claimed responsibility for the attack. Meanwhile, a separate blast has taken place at a mosque near Peshwar city in Khaibar, Pakhtunkhwa province. A combat drone dropped explosives on an electricity substation in a Russian village near the border with Ukraine, while Russia's Ministry of Defense reported shooting down more than a dozen Ukrainian drones over the Russian regions of Belgorod, Kursk and Kaluga. In the Russian village of Belaya, located less than 25 kilometers from the border, a Ukrainian drone dropped two explosive devices on a substation. Kursk regional governor Roman Stadovoyet said on the telegram messaging app early on Friday. He said one of the transformers caught fire, five settlements and a hospital were cut off from power supply. Russian authorities said earlier that two Ukrainian drones were destroyed over the neighboring Belgorod region. The defense ministry in Moscow said the first drone was thwarted at, at about 5 p.m. local time on Thursday. A second drone was brought down about four hours later. Russia's state-run TASS news agency later reported, citing Russia's defense ministry, that 10 Ukrainian drones were brought down over the Kursk region overnight and one over the Kaluga region. Dutch police have arrested a gunman who killed at least three people in twin shootings in the city of Rotterdam. They say that 32 years old male attacker opened fire in a home before setting it alight, then stormed the city's Erasmus Medical Center on Thursday. He was a student at Erasmus University, which is affiliated with the hospital. A woman aged 39 and her 14 year old daughter were killed in the first shooting a male lecturer aged 43 was shot dead at the hospital footage has emerged showing a man in camouflage clothing being taken from the hospital building in handcuffs 
The motives for the attack were not immediately known. A security guard who says he was first in the scene told the BBC it was a shocking day. He said that the gunmen had not entered the medical center through the main entrance. Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte wrote in a post on social media that his thoughts go out to the victims of the violence, their loved ones and to all the people who have been in great fear. Sweden's Prime Minister had summoned the head of the armed forces to help curb a sergeant gang killings. The two men and country's police chief will meet on Friday to discuss what role military could play. It comes after a bloody 12-hour that saw two men shot dead in Stockholm and a 25-year-old woman killed in a blast at home in a town north of the capital. PM Wolf Christensen promised in a rare televised address, government will hunt the gangs down and will defeat them. Armed Forces Chief Michael Biden told Swedish newspaper Dajan's neither he was reported he was prepared to assist police efforts. It is not clear exactly how the military will get involved, but previous talks suggest soldiers may take over certain policing duties to allow officers to free up resources for crime fighting. No improvement was seen in the dengue situation across the country as over 1,000 have been infected and 8 died during last 24 hours. A press release of the Directorate General of Health Services said, among dead, four were in Dhaka and four were outside Dhaka. 1,793 dengue patients were admitted to different hospitals across the country during the last 24 hours. Among them, 584 dengue patients were hospitalized in Dhaka city and 1,209 patients outside Dhaka city. Meanwhile, no one died of COVID-19 in the last 24 hours. The country reported 15 COVID-19 positive cases as 1,046 tested in the last 24 hours. Corona infection rate was reported at 1.43%. Now, news and weather. A low pressure area has formed over Northeast Bay and adjoining area. Under its influence, squally weather may affect the maritime ports, North Bay and adjoining coastal areas of Bangladesh. Maritime ports of Chotrogram, Cox's Bazar, Mongla and Paira have been advised to hoist local cautionary signal number 3, I repeat, signal number 3. All fishing boats and trawlers over North Bay have been advised to come close to the coast and proceed with caution till further notice. Meanwhile, Metophis in its weather forecast till 6 p.m. tomorrow said light to moderate rain or thunder showers accompanied by temporary gusty wind is likely to occur at most places over the Rajshahi, Khulna and Borishal divisions and at many places over Rongpur, Maiman Singh, Dhaka, Chattogram and Silla divisions. Besides moderately heavy to very heavy falls likely to occur at places of a southern part of the country. Day temperature may fall by 1 to 2 degrees Celsius and night temperature may fall slightly over the country, said the Met Office. Now, news and sports. Bangladesh beat Sri Lanka by seven wickets in warm-up match of ICC ODI World Cup cricket in Guwahati, India. Chasing the victory target of 264 runs, Bangladesh reached their destination for three wickets in 42 overs. Tanzit Hassan scored 84 and Litun Dash scored 61 runs, while Mehdi Hassan Miraj was unbeaten on 67 and Mushfiq was unbeaten on 35 runs. Earlier, Sri Lanka won the toss and elected to bet first. They were bowled out for 263 in 49 overs, one ball. Pathom Nishanka and Dhananjaya de Silva scored 68 and 55 runs respectively. Sheikh Mehdi Hassan took three wickets for Bangladesh. 
To end the bulletin, headlines once again. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina asks Bangladesh Embassy officials in Washington, D.C. to work with sincerity and patriotism to further enhance country's image abroad. Awami League doesn't care any threat. Elections will be held as per constitution, says Ubaidul Qadir. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, not only a politician, rather she is a synonym of struggle, development, progress and democracy of Bangladesh, says Dr. Hassan Mahmoud. First batch of fresh uranium for Rupur nuclear power plant reaches project site at Rupur in Ishwardin Pavna from Dhaka today. Passenger trains to be launched on Dohazari Cox's Bazar route in next month. Tourist city Cox's Bazar will usher in a new horizon of communication network. At least 50 people killed and more than 50 injured in a suicide attack in Pakistan. And Bangladesh beat Sri Lanka by seven wickets in warm-up match of ICC ODI Cricket World Cup in Guwahati. That's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for staying with us. We invite you to watch our 11.30 Bangla News. Until then, for the Hafiz.